Hey guys, it's me, old new gamer here, and in this video I'm going to be showing off my Tekken collection. Yeah, now the Tekken series is one of my favourite fighting series of all time, you know, next to games like Virtua Fighter. Um, so yeah, so it's not really a big collection, but these are all the Tekken games I own, so let's go through them one by one. Um, starting off with the original Tekken for the PS1, uh, this was one of the PS1's launch titles, um, this game first came out in the arcades in 1994 and came out for the PS1 in 1995. Um, yeah, it's one of the um, whoops, one of the uh, early uh, 3D fighting games. Uh, you know, so it's a disc manual. This game also has like um, when you start the game up as well, you can also play a little um, a game of Galago as well, which is awesome. And then uh, came Tekken 2, which came out for the PS1 in 1996, in the arcades a year before. Uh, Tekken 2, I've actually beaten this game before. Um, in fact, um, when I was playing this game, uh, I actually beat the devil. Um, and on my first time, it was like super easy. I'm, I was so happy about that. I really wish like I had that recorded. It's the disc. Man, there's several other Namco games at the back. And then the last Tekken game that came out for the PS1 was Tekken 3, uh, which came, which the PS1 version came out in 1998. Tekken 3 is is probably my favorite Tekken game of all time. I mean, first of all, this game looks amazing for a PS1 game. Like, this game truly looks amazing. Um, it, this game really shows off what the PS1 could do. Um, it also takes full advantage of the DualShock 1 controller and mentions the Namco arcade stick. So yeah, a very good game. Uh, and then next came Tekken Tag Tournament, which was a PS2 launch title uh, in 2000. Uh, Tekken Tag Tournament was a different sort of game because you played two characters at once. Um, it was interesting, and it was also a huge step up from any of the other Tekken games on PS1, so there's the disc. I bought this game from a car boot sale y years ago, um, in like, I think it was like August 2013 I got this game. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, next is Tekken 4, uh, this came out for the PS2 in 2002. Um, Tekken 4, um, I just got this game today, um, and I've only played it once. Um, it's your typical um, Tekken game, but it also includes a bonus uh, disc as well. So, starters, uh, there's the regular disc and the manual, and then it has another disc, which is um, which is um, actually a demo disc. It isn't really much. It just contains um, trailers for um, several other games, some which aren't even Namco games, but there's the actual game itself. Um, yeah, I just got this game today. It's pretty fun. And then we have Tekken 5, which came out in 2005, or well, the PS2 version did, because usually the console versions of Tekken games come out like a year after the arcade versions. Um, Tekken 5, I actually had, I actually got Tekken 5 before I got Tekken 4, um, and it's also got this sticker on here. Um, so I got this game earlier this year, and the main reason why I got this before is because, like, um, not only is this, Tekken 5 is a great game, but also you can also unlock the arcade versions of Tekken 1, 2, and 3. Which is just amazing, and that's and that's actually the main reason why I bought this first, um, uh, and then didn't get Tekken Four till months later. And then finally, uh, we have a bit of an um, obscure game in the series, Tekken Advance. Um, Tekken Advance came out in two thousand one, obviously for the Game Boy Advance, and um, all I have is the cartridge. Um, it's a decent fighting game for um, the GBA, but but it gets kind of boring sometimes, so, yeah. And that is my Tekken collection, so I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe to Old New Gamer.